Fertility problems in men are said to be linked to a number of things. Alcohol, smoking, exposure to radiation. A new study, however, is pointing to another culprit. The over-the-counter pain reliever ibuprofen that so many people take quite often. Joining me to talk more about this is 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy. First of all, how was the study conducted? Because this is really a game changer for a lot of people who have aches and pains and ibuprofen has been the go-to. And for men, this could have an impact. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. So what they did is this is done in Denmark and France. And they followed a small number of men, about 30 men under the age of 35. And they took 1,200 milligrams of ibuprofen for about six weeks. And what I think is important here is that this was not a super high dose of ibuprofen. We often recommend ibuprofen up to 2,400 milligrams mm. a day, but six weeks is a long time. These kind of medicines should be used for more short-term use. But when they followed these men, they actually had a decrease in some of the hormones that help make testosterone, and thereby they jumped to the conclusion, and it seemed to be true, that you have lower testosterone and thereby potentially infertility. So it brings the question, should men who are trying to become fathers stop taking ibuprofen? I think here we have to tell them you don't have to stop it, but I wouldn't take it for very long. I, I think more research needs to be done, and I think this was a good way for us to warn people about this. But it's too soon to say stop it altogether. But I think we do know you shouldn't take this medication for very long. It should be used in short-term use. We do know long-term ibuprofen use has been linked to heart disease. We know it causes ulcers. So it's mm -hmm. something people shouldn't be taking for a very long time. But here I think you have to be cautious if you're trying to start a family not mm -hmm. to take it for too too, too long. Maybe you take it for a week at a time and not six weeks at a time. Interesting. Anything else men should know about or families should know about as their family planning in terms of what can impact a man's, a, a man's fertility? Absolutely. And this was another good excuse to go over this. You definitely want to drink in moderation if you're trying to have a baby. You definitely don't want to smoke. Avoid marijuana because THC, one of the chemicals in marijuana, has been linked to low sperm counts. Avoid saunas, hot tubs, excessive heat because that can also affect sperm counts. Mm. Just be a healthy weight, live an active, healthy lifestyle, and you should be fine. Have conversation with your doctors, too. Always about medications, yeah. especially. All Good right. point. Dr. Reddy, thank you. So interesting.